at this one, guys. Here is a light up flying pig. What the heck? Look at that thing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got a leaf stuck under the windshield wiper in the front of my car here and it's going like rattling. <laughs> Today we are headed out to Walmart. Every time I've gone out there over the whole Halloween season I have ignored the Christmas stuff and I'm so curious to see what kind of inflatables they have this year. So we're going out there right now to check it out. guys they're setting up all the Christmas stuff here and they have like all the gift wrap and stuff like that over there but they also have 75% off on all Halloween stuff of course I couldn't resist but to look and look 12 foot giant pumpkin stack inflatable that's $15 here's another one right here it's just in a box because uh, apparently it was supposed to be a store display but it's sealed and the same with this one right here and this one's like seven bucks so I'm grabbing all three of those We'll come back and look at the wrapping paper in a little bit, but right now I want to go back to the back where the Christmas trees and the inflatables are. All right, yeah, here we go, guys. This is where they got all the, well, mainly all the Christmas stuff. The trees, the inflatables you can see at the top here. They have uh, all the decorations and stuff. And of course, back behind me throughout the store, they have all kinds of different uh, wrapping paper and decorations and stuff like that this snowman tree this is actually pretty cool I thought this was just like an accessory you could buy at first that you set on your tree and maybe you can buy it as an accessory but this is the entire tree and it's pre-lit $89 that's pretty cool we'll look at those trees in a second there but first I want to look at all the inflatables wherever they have them I see them set up on the top here here they have a couple a Grinch the Grinch is really tough to find. Okay, these are just the boxes for what they actually have set up up there. I'll have to look around and figure out. Wait a minute. They have an inflatable llama. Look at this, guys. <laughs> a festive llama. Anyways, let's see what he's a second here. This is a... Okay, we got a Mickey. Uh, the Grinch. We got the Santa in sleigh with the gifts back there. Hot air balloon, this one's cool and it's enormous. 12 and a half feet, I'll show you that in a minute. They got that set up in a giant Santa. That's just a typical one. Here's the ones that they have set up on the top here. Olaf, the Grinch, Mickey, Santa. Just the basic tree there. That tree's only 34 bucks. That's not too bad actually. And then a Santa and snowman there. Okay, now we're talking. All the inflatables are right here in this aisle. Here's the other ones I was telling you about. The Santa in the sleigh. And there's that giant Santa hot air balloon. I love that thing. Look at him. <laughs> it's so funny. And then when you got the, uh, the Santa in the red truck with a penguin down here. It looks like that's all they have set up. But there's a ton of them through this aisle here. So let's check these things out. Look at this. We've got a Paw Patrol Marshal. I don't see any other ones but Marshall in there in case anybody's looking for Chase or whoever else there is. <laughs> I can never remember. Minnie, Mickey, Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skellington, uh, there's our Olaf, the frozen one, animated pop-up bear in a gift box. Let's see, what do we got down here? Oh my gosh, there's a ton of them, man. Look, we got a dragon. What's this here? Here's our llama. Our festive llama. I love it. And he's only 15 bucks. I am so tempted to buy that. <laughs> I can't be buying stuff, man. I'm supposed to be downsizing. There's our dragon. Gingerbread man. He's awesome. All these are only 15 bucks here. All these ones that are like four feet tall. Penguin. Oh, look at this. We got a cuddly kitten. Richard and Kara would like that one. And Wally. Look at this one. We got Santa's legs coming out of the snow. That's actually pretty cool. That's three and a half feet. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Elf legs. <laughs> I like that one too. Elf legs. Okay, let's see. We got a darling dog. Festive penguin. Oh, holy night. There's our kitten. There's a Christmas tree. The dog. 
African American Santa. Here's a, a bigger one too. Seven feet tall, snowman with a gift, Christmas tree. Here's our Santa in the sleigh with gifts. That is seven feet. That is pretty cool, I like that one. This is probably my second favorite one. The vintage truck with the Christmas tree. I said in that last uh, video over at the Tis the Season store that I love those red trucks. There's a giant Christmas tree, 10 feet tall. 10 foot snowman. 10 foot Santa. I think I missed the magic unicorn. <laughs> Here's a huge 10 and a half foot wide Santa with three reindeer. I love that. That reminds me of uh, Christmas Vacation. Remember when Chevy Chase kicks the Santa and the reindeer? We've seen all these. Yeah, the red truck, uh, Mickey, snowman, there's the tree. Yeah, we've seen these. This isn't an inflatable, but it's a light-up plush unicorn. I think these have like a wire frame inside of them. It's a llama of the same style. What is this? Hanging snowman with swirling lights. That reminds me of the head, the snowman head that Mrs. Deagle brings in to the bank on, uh, on Gremlins because she's mad that the dog Barney busted it. <laughs> Look at this one, guys. Here is a light-up flying pig. What the heck? Look at that thing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here we got a flamingo. Light-up buck and doe. Those are just the wire things. Here we got a Christmas tree. Light-up deer and sleigh. And this is a whole light-up family right here. I don't really like those things. I mean, they look nice, all the lights look nice, but I don't think I would personally ever buy those. While we're standing by them, here's red and green uh, light up giant, what do you call them, candy canes that you could put along your pathway. I think we may have seen all of these. Wait a minute. African American Holy Angel. And he, I think we saw the penguin actually. Yeah, I think we've seen all of those. This is another style of decoration that I really don't care all that much for. Um, they're just kind of bulky. They have that, frame, that wire frame inside. And, I mean, if you're packing these things away and you put anything heavy in there, it'll just smash them. And that's it. I mean, they look cool. But, especially the red truck. You know I love the red truck. And there's a snowman and the sleigh. But, yeah, I don't know. I just... That's a plastic frame, so that means that it can't, won't even smash, it'll just break. Here's some things with try me buttons here, so let's try them. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Hey, right. okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, actually I like that one. <laughs> Did we see this one yet? I don't think so. That's cool. And here's our red truck. Fresh cut Christmas trees, I like that one. I think that's all of them. Oh wait, here we got a Merry Christmas tree. And a Let It Snow. I don't think we've seen this one. Ooh, and he doesn't work. Hold on, let's try this one. Doesn't work either, what the heck? Well, we don't need to see the Let It Snow, that's okay. Look at these giant hanging bulbs here. These are actually light up bulbs, but they're enormous. It's like the size of my head. <laughs> the clear ones. Solid, green over here. Ooh, we got a blue there it looks like. Here's some other solid ones up here. $6.48 a piece. Those are actually pretty cool. I would love to decorate with those. Like hang them across your porch. Got a pretty good variety of, of different kinds of lights here. And they got them all up here for you to see. So it makes it easy to know exactly what it is you're buying. There's different styles like balls here. And uh, you can't really see it on the video, but there's like an etched pattern to those. Little LED lights. And here's bigger ones. And even bigger ones. These are like back in the day, you know. And even back in the day, they were even bigger than this. But this is the kind I mentioned in that other store, the Tis of the Season store. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Um, but back in the day, we had those big lights 
And I remember they'd get so hot, they would melt the tinsel in the garlands. Like, I don't see any tinsel in garlands right now, but the tinsel and the garlands would lay on those, those bulbs. And they were glass, and they would get so hot that you could smell the stuff melting on there. It was so crazy. I'll never forget that smell. It looks like they have some stuff out here, too. This is cool. This is so that it makes it easy to create a light show with all the strings of lights on your house. Lots of different styles and colors of, of uh, ornaments here. That's not, not too bad. $7.48 for an entire tube of these. That looks a little pricey for these, though. Oh, wait a minute. There's 70. <laughs> There's 70 in this whole thing here for 25 bucks. God, could this music be any more obnoxious? This is cool. We got all kinds of color-coded uh, packages of bulbs here. That's only five bucks for each package. Here's the size of it right here. How many's in there? 26 pieces in each one. What is that? Uh, 15 feet for four bucks. 388. Silver, blue, green. Here's white. Ooh, here's the bigger ones. This is even bigger. <laughs> we got stars for the top of your tree. Snowflake that lights up. A Santa, an angel. That's pretty cool. They've got a ton of awesome wrapping paper here, but I think we're gonna have to go out and film. I think they got the same stuff out there in the store without this loud, obnoxious music. Yeah, let's go down through our row of Christmas trees here. Winter Wonderland. Look at this. <laughs> they got all kinds of sizes and shapes. Look, they got a black tree. I don't know if I've ever seen a black tree in a Walmart before. A white tree got some trains. I've always wanted to set up a big train around my tree. It's one thing I've just never done, but would be so cool. Here's a smaller one even. Look at the little elves in there. Oh, this is really cool. A 56 inch LED Santa snowing lamp post. So you actually set it up and then it must have a little blower or something inside. Oh, try me. Yes. Yeah, look at that. It makes it snow. It comes at the top of his head. <laughs> Animated kicking legs. <laughs> Look at this. You stick it in the tree. <laughs> they got this one set up actually. It's got a snowman instead of a Santa, but it's not turned on. I like the uh, North Pole Express mailbox. That's really cool. I think that's actually, that's tin too. Some nice trees in here. Look at this one. It's flocked. This one is too. It's like a, a tall, thin one. That's cool if you don't have very much room for a tree in your house. All right, guys, here we go with some of our wrapping stuff. We got gift bags over here. I always love the plaid ones. I really like those. Here's different kinds of wrapping paper here. Ho, ho, ho. Candy canes. Those are just some basic ones. Boxes. Every year at the end of the season when this stuff goes on clearance, I stock up on boxes. Got like the multi-packs of boxes here. All kinds of different gift tags. I like to make my own gift tags, but if I were going to buy them, I'd probably buy something like this. They're a little bit more creative than just a sticker. But if you have a thousand presents you're giving out, then you obviously want to use something easy like stickers. What the heck is this? Gift card holder. A ho-ho-ho bag. Ho-ho-ho bag. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> okay, look at this. I think this is something new this year. I haven't seen this kind of stuff before. These are like fabric gift bags. They have small ones there, and then they get bigger. That's actually kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen the fabric ones. Look at this. Beat sync lights. You string these up to your tree or wherever, and then turn it on, and whatever music you're listening to, the lights will like sync to your music. That's kind of cool. Got a try me button here. It's not really syncing to anything right now, but that's just an idea of what they look like. I don't know that I like that wiry look, but I mean, it could work. Here's a ton more different kinds of uh, gift bags. A ton more different kinds of gift bags. That sounds so weird. Okay, look at this. I like big bucks and I cannot lie. <laughs> what the heck? kinds of bow packs here from like the real cheap ones a bag of them even they even get cheaper down here two bucks and fifty cents for a bunch of them how many are in there hmm oh 20 gift bows and then you got 40 for five bucks and then you got like the premium ones down here 34 pieces for nine dollars of course if you're crafty 
You can just buy the ribbon. All kinds of different styles of that. Look at this gift trim. That's like a, a soft rope. I've never used anything like that. Oh, look at this. I like these. That's almost like a canvas there, actually. This is cool. It's a big book of uh, gift tags, peel and stick. And they're big ones, too. Instead of those tiny ones, you're trying to write real small on. And, of course, you've got your basic ribbon here. Here's the kind that you can curl with your scissors, if you know how to do that kind of thing. Okay, I've never used this kind, but I actually like it a lot. This craft gift wrap. It's basically like that uh, that thick brown paper that you use when you're packing things to, uh, to ship. I'm going to try to put a little bit of color in there. That one's just plain. But here's a plaid one. That's kind of cool. I think I would like to use those, though. And here's like the matching gift bags if you wanted everything to match under your tree. Here's all your stuff to make a village. I really like this kind of stuff. Look, you got a couple of different kinds of snow, like the actual flake-looking snow, and then uh, buffalo snow, which is basically just big fluffy cotton. And then that's like that's a roll. That's like you just you know roll it out like a flat thing of snow, coats everything. But you can build these little uh, villages. Oh my God! Look, they got a Walmart. I would die if I looked and they had a Kmart. But look at the uh, the kids here making the snowball and having a snowball fight and stuff. There's our red truck with the tree again. I would love to put together a, a village like this. Oh, wow, look at these awesome tree skirts. Look at this one. Oh, what fun, he's got a trailer. I like that. I don't know that I like the gray, but I like the, the trailer thing there. Home for the holidays, that's plaid. I really like that. And these are just basic, but they're blue and red. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Stockings. You could put people's names on there and customize them if you wanted to. Oh look, they have a whole Santa suit. Somebody's gonna ask me how much it is. 50 bucks, 50 bucks for a Santa suit. And it's one size fits most. So if you're an adult, it probably fits. <laughs> There's a bunch of different kinds of wreaths here. These look pretty good actually. And then if you wanna make something like that, they have just the, uh, the fabric, the decorative fabric here. Look, I thought these were felt, but they're like a, like a hard plastic, actually. They look like they're felt and soft, though. Emergency medical services, fire department, police. Those are pretty cool. They're only five bucks a piece. What the heck is this? A wise owl ornament. <laughs> That's too funny. Here's a pretty good looking Santa ornament. They have a lot of good looking ornaments this year, actually. Look at these. I really like those. These look like candy canes. Here's clear ones, like what you can make on your own. In fact, here's down here's the uh, the clear ornaments. Now these are glass, but you can get the plastic ones for like a dollar a piece, and you just fill them or paint them. You know, put a little bit of fake snow in there and paint a picture on them, and it turns out something like this. But it's more personal because you actually did it yourself. Here's ones with Santa, and look. Yeah, you put that fake snow in there, like the little snow beads. Here's snowmen. It looks like these were painted from the inside. There's all kinds of tutorials on YouTube of how to do this kind of stuff if you're if you're crafty like that. This is kind of along the same lines here. You see they got the fake snow in there. However, this is why you don't buy the glass ones. Look at that, totally shattered in there already. Plastic ones will do perfect. Oh, look at this. I love us. <laughs> I like that. Red truck. Here's letter ornaments. That's made with, uh, what do you call that stuff? Spr uh, not sprinkles, what the heck is that called? Glitter. It drives me nuts that the package is smashed. N, M. They've really got a nice variety of uh, ornaments this year. Look, <laughs> that's cool, a deer. Look at this, we got deer antlers, and it's got jingle bells on them. Pinecone star. What is that? Oh, more antlers. Here's some more really nice tree skirts. I love the plaid. Uh, that's a little silky there. I think I like this one better than the red one, actually. That's nice. Oh, look, and it has a matching bow. <laughs> that's cool. I guess we'll have to come back and look at the wrapping paper at another time, because they're busy in that aisle taking out all the... Uh, the Halloween stuff and putting in the Christmas stuff so we got a long time before Christmas though so we will come back and check that stuff out and see what else they put out before Christmas <laughs>